Since they've only been together for a month, it's hard to say if they'll have really good synergy or not. Uh, obviously, they'll just have strong laning mechanics, and with all their players, they're pretty talented. So I'm assuming that as long as it's a center lane with no lane swaps or anything like that, they'll should be, they should do pretty well. In terms of individual like mechanical raw talent, TSM put together a really good roster regarding that aspect. All the players they have are very, very good individually, and for a Western team, it'll be pretty hard to find a better roster in terms of talent alone. Because it's a brand new team and they have a lot of pressure for them to perform, it could go either way. I feel like roster meshes really well during the boot camp and everything just like clicks and they work really well together naturally or they have personalities crashing and it's gonna require a lot of coaching for the team to function and bring out like how good they can really be. Um, Reggie's always been about bringing on new talent, bringing on a fresh face that's really hungry and that really wants to be on the team and that really wants to make it. So a good example would be someone like Bjergsen, someone like Centaurin. This time he went with a lot of old faces and people that have proven themselves and his main goal in terms of putting together a roster was have five English speaking players that are all mechanically good that can be coached into a great team and I think they're on the right track. So Hansers is walking into one of the most popular esports brands in the Western world. And not only that, he's stepping into some shoes that are one of the most popular players in the entire world. Dyrus has built a legacy in League of Legends. He's an amazing player. I think Hansers has the work set out for him, but I actually think he's gonna do a great job. And the reason why I say that is because he played for a challenger team and I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to handle the pressure of LCS or even handle the pressure of playing in a land to qualify into LCS. And in both cases, he just, he, under pressure, he plays so well. Um, he go, comes into his own, he becomes very focused. Um, I don't think that the notoriety of TSM or Dyrus is going to affect his play in any way. I think, if anything, it's just going to drive him to play even better than what we've seen in last split, and it's actually a little scary.